Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. I'm your humble host, Picasso. Thanks for joining in. Today, guys, we are looking at, uh, this is, of course, my Nexus 6. And we are looking at a custom ROM for the Nexus 6. As you see here, let's go down and take a look at that boot animation. And this is a CR Droid for the right Nexus the bat, it shows 6. why I wanted to go and take a look at this ROM. Now, the next thing is we can simply go like that, double tap to wake the screen, uh, double tap, and of course if you look down here you see you got three little shortcuts here where simply just tapping on them is going to, is it tap? I think it's tap. Is it swipe? No, it's not swipe. Okay, let's go back again, uh, double tap, really love that, tap, no, tap, tap, I guess it's hold, okay, so it's not tap, but it's hold, and you do, uh, uh, you know, you're able to open that up. So again, it is a CM12 based ROM, but it does come with a lot of different features, which we're going to be taking a look at. Okay, right off the bat, uh, I want to say, of course, this is the Google Now Launcher. Okay, so pretty straightforward, pretty standard. Um, of course, you have the search bar up here. Interesting. I don't know if that's part of... Um, you know, Android Lollipop. I never actually held on to the Google search bar. But let's go ahead and let's jump into the settings. Let's go down to About Phone. So we can see here, uh, let's zoom in a little bit there so you guys can see a little bit better. Let's zoom right in there. So we have a CR Droid. Um, there's About CR Droid. Of course, you see the model, Nexus 6. Uh, the version, which is 5.0.2. Okay. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so that's basically about it. Of course, advanced mode, which uh, show additional options for configuring your device in various settings menu. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and actually jump right back into some of the settings. Okay, let's go ahead and jump in there. So as normal, you have your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mobile, data, more. It's going to more. You have everything straightforward. No changes in there. You have sounds, display lights. Of course, again, it's a CM12 based ROM or it, you know, has a lot of features from CM12. So we do have the themes engine. Okay. Always something that I'm very, very uh, happy for because, you know, no matter what stock launcher or icons or whatever, I like to change stuff up however I feel. So I usually just, you know, I usually have uh, like Nova launcher or a third party launcher on the third party lock screen that can do other things. Uh, there's notification manager, of course, um, that's regular uh, lollipop stuff right there. Uh, let's go down. So, okay. Lock screen again, regular stuff there. Screen lock, yada, yada, yada. Continuing down, of course, we have buttons. Now, buttons uh, enable on-screen navbar buttons. Of course, disabling this will remove the buttons. Okay, so there is no no back key, no nothing. So if you are going to do that, um, I suggest having something that I always used to like to do is, of course, you can have just regular you know gestures or pie controls or something like that. If you have the expose installer. Um, so yeah, but basically me, I like to use all-in-one gestures, okay? So all-in-one gesture, and yeah, you literally have to go into all-in-one gestures. I'm not sure if I've actually done a review on all-in-one gestures, but I might just do that because it's a very unique application that I use on every single Android device, whether or not I have navbar or anything like that. Um, yeah, but uh, this isn't about all-in-one gestures. Stay tuned for that video. So let's turn back on the nav buttons. You have left-handed mode, navbar dimensions, nav button tint, buttons and layout. So we can go ahead and add buttons. Uh, let's go ahead, edit, um, and then you can add. Let's see what they give me to add. Come on. They give me empty search menu and power button. Oh, interesting. So they, let's go ahead and put the power button there. That's pretty cool. I like that. Um, let's go ahead and add. What else do we have? The search button and the menu, which is always show. Well, menu comes up depending on whatever application you're in. I could put in the search. Uh, I'll just put in the power button. That's cool. And let's go ahead and save. Awesome. So now we have a power button. So if I go ahead and tap the power button, 
Okay, now, <laughs> did I just turn off the phone? Or Okay, so it just locks the screen. And if I hold it, what happens if I hold it? Does anything happen if I hold it? Oh, okay. So holding it will bring up the power menu. And tapping it will lock the screen. Awesome. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and let's uh, remove that. Let's go to save. There you go, back to normal. Okay, so pretty cool. You can go ahead and do that. Um, navigation ring targets, of course, you know, by swiping up, you get the, the Google search. So you can, you know, change that and stuff like that. There you go. So you have three options. You can do that. So that's cool. Let's get out of that. Uh, double tap to sleep, which, of course, double tap the navigation bar to put the device to sleep. That's interesting. Let's go ahead and double tap. There we go. So double tap the screen to wake. Okay, and then uh, get in there and then double tap the nav bar to sleep. That's pretty cool. As you can see, fingerprint magnet like crazy. I do have a, a tempered glass on this, and yeah, it's fingerprint magnet. Uh, then we have the power menu uh, where you can add all these things, user switcher and so forth and, and so forth and yada, 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 screen, profile switcher, which I never really use, screen recorder, reboot menu, and so forth. Okay, and power button ends call. Uh, overrides, playback control. Uh, no. Volume keys, I like to leave that like that. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Again, nothing too uh, uh, serious there, you know. Uh, was that all in the buttons? Uh, yep, that was everything for the buttons. Then security, battery, users, system profiles. This is where it all comes down now. C-Droid Custom. Okay. Now, within C-Droid Custom, let's get in there a little bit more so you guys can see. So here we go now. We have uh, options for the status bar, clock style. I put it to the left, as you see here. Uh, AM, PM style, I have it small. Battery status for the, uh, the icon. So we can have hidden. So the battery can be hidden as well. Text, circle, icon, landscape, portrait. I just keep it as portrait. Let's check out text. Uh, I'm going to leave text. I like to just look at it and see exactly what it is. I don't have to guess. So 17%. Um, show empty SIM icons. Okay. Brightness control, which is, of course, sliding across, showing notification count. Super user indicator. C-Droid logo. So you can have the logo right here, if you guys can see that. Let's go right there. So you can have the C-Droid logo right there up in the, icon, in the uh, status bar. Um, don't know why, but I guess, you know, it's a neat thing just to have there, I guess. Okay, then heads up notifications, pop up notifications are enabled. Tapping it, let's see. So you have swipe behavior. Okay, uh, swipe behavior, hide and dismiss notifications. Touch outside behavior, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. Pretty straightforward, but you can actually control it here within the app, so that's cool. The recents panel. Okay, you can show the search bar if you want to. Clear all recents, of course, top right, of course. And you can, the cool thing about this now, you can have Omni Switch instead of the uh, this, instead of the uh, um, Lollipop app switcher. You can have Omni Switch, okay? So that's pretty cool. And for those of you that don't know Omni Switch, Omni Switch is from the custom ROM. Uh, let's see, make sure you have enabled Omni Switch. You can do this by using settings below, okay? So it's gonna open, and I guess you, oh, there you go, so right there. Okay, so swipe horizontally to open, press the button or outside to close, long press to open quick switcher. Okay, so there you have that little indicator. I'm sure you can make it fully transparent if you want. Um, opacity, background opacity for overlay view. Okay, um, and then you can use icon packs, stuff like that. So see, that's basically Omni Switcher. So it's going to show all your apps. So instead of using the regular recents, See, uh, let's see, there you go. So instead of using the regular recents, you now have Omni Switch. Um, it, yes, uh, sorry, back to what I was saying. For those of you that don't know, Omni Switch is from uh, another uh, custom ROM called Omni ROM. Okay, Omni ROM was one of my favorite uh, custom ROMs. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm waiting to see them upgrade to Lollipop, like uh, uh, you know, like most of these other custom ROMs out there. And I'll definitely be giving them a shout out. Um, you guys check some of my older videos. I've done a lot of reviews on Omni ROM. But uh, yeah, so I'm actually gonna stick to uh, the original Lollipop recents because I like the card style. I really love it. Um, and with these thir these uh, custom ROMs, you can just go like this, boom, and just just you know like 
boom there you go everything's cleared away so you don't have to just clear away each one uh, on its own okay let's go again let's go back jump back into the settings okay and we were on C Droid Custom. See what else we have in here. Uh, what makes this stand out? And this is the uh, in the beginning you saw those no, those uh, applications uh, on the lock screen. Let's jump into lock screen. Then we have middle screen shortcuts. Okay, and this is where you can come in here now and you can add icon or sorry applications that you want on your uh, uh, lock screen just for you know to get in quicker so of course cameras already there I just grabbed a few you know just uh, just for you know the time being so I'll go ahead and add messenger uh, it's very simple just hit the plus sign uh, applications you can add shortcuts as well and I'll go ahead and I will add uh, Play Store why not okay now going so um, again let's double tap on the nav bar it closes double tap on the screen and there you go all the icons right there now I'm not sure what limit of icons you can put there but I'm sure you can't fill up the whole screen or maybe it doesn't go to double rows or something like that um, yeah so and you know what let's actually let's oh maximum entry size has been reached okay so one two three four five is the maximum and of course you can just simply hold on this left side and you can rearrange whatever you want to be in the front so that's pretty cool uh, display music virtualizer so now when playing music you can have a little bit of uh, a, a virtual sorry a, a musical virtualizer on the lock screen uh, let's go ahead I'm not sure if I have any music on this devices yet I recently just you know switched over to it I was using the note 4 as my daily driver and now I'm using the Nexus 6 as my daily driver um, so let's see what I have on here I don't really have anything um, but uh, let's see if I have anything nope nothing personal because I can't play these things here so I'm gonna go ahead play something but I am going to turn on the volume of course we have the uh, CM12 volume chooser here where I can uh, turn down things individually of course on stock lollipop you have to actually play music and then turn it down so let's just go ahead and play something we'll just play one so it is playing let's just take a look as you see is it playing it there we go so it's playing now okay so let's go ahead and close the lock screen so you guys can see it all depends on the volume the equalizer so it's all the way down it's not going to show anything but if you turn it up a little bit so you guys can't really hear but you can see that you can see that there okay so pretty cool with the virtualizer uh, let's get back in uh, before this battery dies on me here let's dive back into the settings and okay so it also has the heads up there with a little bit of music which is pretty cool I didn't know it actually did that I'm sure that's just part of the ROM um, of course you know on stock I am on 5.1 uh, Android Lollipop 5.1 and you know this ROM is really cool I don't know if I'm gonna stick on it or I'm gonna go back I'm not sure and I recently read on Google Plus very sad to hear that uh, CR the creator of CR Droid announced on the uh, Google Plus community that CR Droid will be dying so very sad to hear that a lot of people were disappointed I didn't get into much more to find out why but yeah um, so here we go sound less frequent notifications of sound We're just kind of looking at what makes this ROM tick and different from the rest the lock screen applications definitely definitely awesome um, display uh, you can change the density of the LCD um, I don't know much about that so I don't even mess with stuff like that I just leave that alone app circle bar so you can have app circle bar which is of course you know like yeah so you put apps in and you can trigger it off from there so trigger width make it like that trigger position make it a little smaller is that how you make it smaller no oh trigger height there we go and then trigger position I'll put it right there so then when you put apps in there you go see you have that circle thing and then there you go so you have that so that's pretty cool as well you know I'm um, definitely cool for multitasking if you 
you know, if you don't want to use the recents, you could do it like this. Simple as that. And of course, you choose the included apps right there. So pretty cool. I'm going to turn that back off. Let's go through this. Gesture Anywhere. Okay, so this is taking some notes from uh, uh, a, an exposed module called XBLAST Tools. Okay, this whole section right here. These two sections, App Circle Bar and Gesture Anywhere, are things I recognize from XBLAST tools um, that was in, and yeah, it's an exposed module. So if you know about the exposed installer, you know about XBLAST tools. Um, animations, we have Toast Animations and System Animations. Okay, uh, Add Blocker, Screen Recorder, and Wake Lock Blocker. Okay. So, this video has been going on a little bit, um, you know, didn't want to make too much of a long video, but that's basically it, you know. Um, if you have any questions about anything that I didn't really get into details about, you can always leave the comments down below and I will definitely do an update video checking out whatever you wanted me to check out. Okay, so just a quick look at CR Droid uh, for the Nexus 6. Okay, again, it is on 5.0.2 Android Lollipop, um, and you saw it there, but let's just quickly go in here before, uh, let's see, if we go like this on it, will it? Nope, but if we do this, this will show you that it is the Lollipop. Now, I don't play this game because I suck tremendously at it, so um, I'm not even going to go any further than that. But there you go, Android 5.0.2. I do have a few devices. Um, if any specific ROM you want me to take a look at, please go ahead and leave those suggestions down below. Follow me on Twitter, Google+, Facebook. All information is somewhere on the page or somewhere in the video. Um, yeah. It's your humble host, Picasso. If you do it, again, leave that thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate the support you guys give on all my videos. That's why I keep doing this for you guys, to let you know what's out there, what's cool. We learn, teach, and entertain. All right, guys, your humble host, Picasso. See you in the next one. It's Tech Time. Stay tech. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm out. Clap it, clap it, uh, uh, uh. Clap it.